This technology could have the power to revolutionize the flow of goods and the scope of product markets. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 futuristic technologies you didn't know exist. Stop! Look! I need to borrow your hoverboard. He can carry 200 pounds without breaking a sweat. And uphill, he gets a little push, thanks to a metal system on his legs called the Hulk. It's a full human to human interaction that crosses the language barrier. It's truly a magical experience. For this list, we'll be looking at innovations that you might have only seen in sci-fi movies before that have made their way into the real world. What sci-fi technology do you wish was available today? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, powered exoskeletons. Is an Iron Man suit actually possible? Ah, that's my exit. Well, it turns out that Adam Savage from Mythbusters fame isn't the only one with access to really fancy suits. This was a titanium bulletproof Iron Man suit flying through the freaking air. There's nothing fictional about the operation of this. It is a first prototype and it is raw as hell, but it worked. Powered exoskeleton suits are essentially wearable machines that augment your body's strength and agility. While some encompass the entire body, others attach mainly to the waist and legs. On the wrist, the user is wearing a remote control. On this remote control, the user is selecting whatever he wants to do. If he's sitting and he selects uh, uh, stand-up, then the, the system will give indication. It makes uh, some beeps and uh, the user knows, OK, now I have to stand. Medical applications such as the rewalk allow people with spine injuries to regain a good portion of their mobility. Meanwhile, the human universal load carrier was built to make it easier for soldiers to carry lots of essential materials. It has the smarts to predict what you're doing, and it has to match that motion. Here at Natick Soldier System Center, Army engineers are starting to put the Hulk through its paces. Although neither of these will allow you to shoot lasers out of your hands yet, these types of exoskeleton suits are more available to wear today. Number nine, food pills. Sci-fi films have been teasing the idea of having full food substitutions come in small portions like pills for decades. Mm. Strawberries, hmm? The movie Soylent Green shows a world where the masses consume a wafer-like product meant to help with a food shortage. In a true case of life imitating art, a company by the name of Soylent actually sells shakes and powders as nutritional replacements. You know, this idea is going to solve you know a lot of problems in food that we have not just hunger it's the environmental impact it's uh, you know poorly balanced food which leads to obesity i'm very optimistic about the future i think it's going to be great people are going to be very healthy and energetic oh don't worry they are mercifully not made of the same stuff as the products in soylent green you gotta tell them silent green is people companies like the food pill diet are also producing pills made of dried vegetables meant to replace your typical meal while these capsules may not solve world hunger, they can bring us closer to having a sustainable food source. Number eight, Universal Translator. Have you ever noticed that in most science fiction stories, everyone somehow manages to speak English? Star Trek solved this problem by introducing a device called a Universal Translator, which was able to convert any language into English. Can you understand me? Serota Jo. Where's Hoshi when you need her? Who is Hoshi? That's better. Out here in the real world, we've just started to see this technology emerge. There are plenty of apps available for your smartphone that do a pretty good job of translations already. But beyond those, Microsoft's Skype translator does almost real-time speech-to-speech translations. With a Skype translator, it all starts just as with any other Skype call. You just call someone. But now the difference is the person you're calling doesn't have to speak your language. But I wanted to talk to you about the email that I sent you yesterday. Companies like Waverly Labs are developing earbuds that work in conjunction with your phone to provide translation services. Can you hear me in French? Pouvez-vous me entendre en français? Oui. Et je peux te je peux te montrer en français? Yes, I can hear you talk French. Comment ça se fait? But this is awesome. Number seven, laser weapons. Wait a minute. This is the future. We're all the phaser guns. In almost every futuristic depiction of gunfights, there's usually some kind of a laser gun involved. 
Star Wars had blasters and Star Trek had phasers. Mr. Reed, the honor is all yours. Where are these in the real world? Well, the U.S. Navy developed the ANSEC-3 laser weapons system. It operates much like a laser pointer, except that when you aim it at a target and shoot, you can inflict some real damage. Laser dazzler weapons have also been developed to throw off a target's senses. In both cases, the lasers shoot at the speed of light, so you probably won't see visible flying beams like in the movies. Right, okay, people, you have to tell me these things, all right? I've been frozen for 30 years, okay? Throw me a frickin' bone here. But their ability to neutralize a target is very real. Number six, bionic limbs. Steve Austin and Jamie Somers both showed the world what having bionic limbs could do for us in The Six Million Dollar Man. Although we don't have access to a variety of bionic limbs that allow us to run like cheetahs or lift a car, the field has made big strides in the last few decades. You are in control right yeah, away. Yeah, it's really neat. <laughs> that is incredible. It was nothing short of thrilling. So For the first time good. since I lost my arm, it occurred to me that technology might one day restore nearly all the function I lost. Recent advancements have allowed for artificial appendages to have increased capabilities and intelligence. Companies like Open Bionics, Unlimited Tomorrow, and countless others are now producing artificial limbs that use bionic controls. And to take a sip of water, you could just turn the wrist so that you could get it easier. But for me personally, having both bionic arms, that's something that is a little bit difficult for me. So if you're like me and you're missing two hands, then it may be easier and you may have to just kind of lean over a bit. Responding to the smallest of muscle movements or other body influences, real bionic limbs are catching up to their fictional counterparts. When it comes to bionics, robotics, AI, all these things are going to be huge. Number five, replicators slash 3D printers. The first time Star Trek The Next Generation showed us what a replicator could do, every fan wondered what it would be like to have a machine that could make anything. Jaha, salute. Thanks to achievements in 3D printing technology, we're now seeing the beginnings of that fancy replicator. Known as additive manufacturing, 3D printers are computer-controlled devices that use a variety of different materials to create a 3D object using layers. The sky really is the limit when it comes to this technology. You can pretty much design and print anything you like, including a new microphone. Each layer is affixed to the previous one, creating a fully formed object. From toys to engineering models to even custom printed body parts, 3D printing is rapidly changing how we manufacture many goods around the world. The 3D printing industry is expanding rapidly and growing ever faster and more efficient. But it will be some time before we see the promised improvements like shorter supply chains, reductions in overproduction, the elimination of warehouses for spare parts, and the use of recyclable materials in closed loop systems. Number four, teleportation. When we're stuck in five o'clock traffic with no end in sight, we wish we could just snap our fingers and magically be home. Is it possible that in my lifetime, instead of driving home, for a long time on the freeways of Los Angeles and really losing my temper several times and stopping the car in heavy traffic and getting out with a broom handle and hitting another car, <laughs> that I will get into a cube and be like... <laughs> While the idea of teleporting like a Star Trek officer has been around for years, it's always been beyond our reach. Last Star Trek reference, we promise. Although the ability to teleport matter is still a work of fiction, scientists have been able to use quantum teleportation. It involves the ability to teleport the state of one photon to another even when they are separated by a great distance. The technique, they say, could be used uh, big time when it comes to the future quantum internet uh, that uh, scientists are planning. It could help uh, make data very much secure. Unfortunately, these advancements may not get you out of any traffic jams this year. However, the news does have scientists excited by the possibilities it may bring in the future. It's a huge engineering challenge, and it's not impossible. 
but it is really hard. Success, though, would most definitely change the world. Number three, 3D holograms. Yeah, yeah, Machiavelli in this. The use of holographic technology has been seen in countless forms of fictional media, but has been less visible in the real world. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. While a combination of projectors and mirrors have been used to create the illusion of 3D holograms, people are working on ways to recreate the ones that we've seen in our favorite films. Brilliant minds at Brigham Young University have worked to produce more advanced images known as volumetric displays by using specialized equipment. They actually used the Princess Leia hologram from the original Star Wars as their inspiration. Here we see the culmination of three years of effort. Our display is projecting a small particle focus right here. It's being dragged up and down vertically rastering this image of Princess Leia. Another type of 3D interactive hologram can be seen through the use of headsets, which augment the user's view. Microsoft Holonins has also shown many different applications for exciting and developing technology. Number two, hoverboards slash hover technology. The release of Back to the Future Part 2 ignited the imagination of fans when they saw Marty McFly riding a hoverboard around Hill Valley. He's on a hoverboard! In a behind-the-scenes interview, director Robert Zemeckis trolled fans by indicating that the ones in the movie were real. Parents groups have not let the toy manufacturers make them, and we got our hands on some and we put them in the movie. Ever since, people have been trying to recreate the famous boards. A company called Hendo Hover produced a fully functional board, which skateboard legend Tony Hawk tried out. While it only hovers on a specialized copper surface, it behaves much like Marty's did. Love my first 1080. Car company Lexus also produced a similar device that hovers over a special track using superconductors within the board itself. They may not exactly be like Marty's Mattel hoverboard, but they're still pretty cool. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, cloud seeding technology. Although we live on a planet that is 71% covered by water, only about 3% of it is instantly drinkable. In the United States, there's California, where in one single year, a historic drought cost the state over 10,000 jobs and nearly $2 billion in lost revenue. For parts of the world that see excessive heat in the summer, a lack of rain can make people wish they had access to a sci-fi weather controlling machine. Dubai recently made headlines by using cloud seeding technology to bring water down. And what they basically did, they had a fleet of drones that flew up into cloud cover and they, they used electrical charges to force water droplets to combine into larger ones. During the process, drones send electric shocks into clouds, triggering excessive condensation and eventually some rainfall. Common seeding agents used are dry ice, the solid form of carbon dioxide, silver iodide, or simple salts like sodium chloride. There's a future where this and similar technologies could be used worldwide to regularly help ease heat waves and droughts. Advancing our current cloud seeding tech could potentially save lives. It's very important that we take advantage of every opportunity we have uh, to generate water in a sustainable way. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.